you are from Scotland. I am. And not many people know that Scotland has one of the best musical education programs. It does, yeah. Uh, how does it differ from the European uh, schools of music? Um, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, you played with many cracks in the jazz scene. <laughs> and uh, is there a preferable way of teaching, like listening more to other people? Or is it a musical education that is based on academical? I think the, the course now that has been set up in Scotland is very much based on the Berkeley um, system in Boston. In Boston, yes. Um, so I think that's the kind of model that Tommy Smith, great saxophone player, has gone for. Because um, he obviously studied in Berkeley as well. Um, as far as the European um, model goes, I don't really know, to be honest. I've never um, experienced that. But I think that's, that's probably based on the same thing, maybe. I'm not, not too sure. I've, I've heard that in Scotland it's based on bandstand learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very practical. It's very practical. So the students learn lots of um, tunes, lots of theory, uh, but it's all applicable to their, in to their instrument. Uh, so it's very much done in a very practical way as, as well as the theory side as well. You have your own band and your own career. I do. What have you learned after college that is impossible to learn in college? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's literally the experience of doing proper gigs, um, really practical things like how to run a band, you know, you know speaking to promoters, um, you know, being able to put a press release together, um, being able to um, negotiate with venues and managing people, yes. you know, sorting out all those kind of logistic things. You don't, you don't really get taught that at college, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, you know, when, when, you, when you leave college and you start running your own things, you, you definitely have to step into a bit of a kind of managerial frame of mind and a bit of a practical frame of mind, as well as being able to play as well, obviously. Uh, do you feel that projects like jazz are mm -hmm. will help young musicians in their growth? Yeah, definitely, for sure. And why? Well, I think one of the one of the great strengths of of the program here is um, students get to play alongside um, professional musicians. musicians. Uh, rather than it's, it's it's great going to see workshops and it's great going to see people. Um, talk about what they do and demonstrate things, but you can't really. Um, th there's nothing like sitting beside someone and hearing them do it, and being able to learn from them in, in that very practical way. Uh, so it's quite a unique um, experience, I think. Um, in the world of jazz, it's an amazing kind of um, achievement that Fritz has, you know, made happen here, really. And what makes what makes it interesting to play with people like Billy Cobham, for example, for you personally? Me? Well, he's, he's a hero, you know, <laughs> he's a master. Um, so for me, you know, for me it's a learning experience, even though I'm, you know, here as one of the tutors, <laughs> I also learn a lot uh, when I'm here as well, you know, sitting in the same band that, for instance, Bobby Watson's playing in, or Billy Cobham, is, is amazing, you know, because the, they're, you know, the top of their game. Um, so it's, it's an education for me to hear them in the flesh, yeah. you know. Well, I hope that all of your intentions, your wishes and your uh, personal experiences will come true. And I Thank you wish much. you all the best. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs>